Hi, my name's Mitz. I'm going to show you where to go so you can delete your pictures off your camera. Um, also see the camera properties and transfer your photos off your camera to your computer. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to My Computer. Um, you can choose it from the Start menu down the bottom. Um, also you can choose from the Run dialog box. You can open that up and all you have to do is, if you're using Windows XP, just type in three dots and press enter and my computer will come up. Okay, so I've got my computer set out so it's all in different categories. Okay, so down the bottom here I've got my cam scanner and cameras. Um, at the moment that's my webcam. So what I've done is I've plugged my camera in, my digital camera, and I'm just going to turn it on. Now the computer's got to find it um, and then bring it up in here. There it is there. Okay, now if you want your my computer to look like this in all nice categories here, all you have to do is right click in the white space and choose arrange by and then type okay that puts it all in the nice categories um, like devices and removable storage um, and the hard drives are in their own section stuff like that okay so now we'll go back to this now what I want to do is I want to double click on the camera on that that's my digital camera there so I'm going to double click on that because I want to open it up and take it up the top here okay so here it is it's open now what we've got is all the menu of what I can do here and also it's showing me the photos that I've got on the camera at the moment um, right so what I can do here is I can click on this button um, and the automatic um, scanner and wizard will open scanner and camera wizard okay now this only works when you've actually got photos on your com on your camera okay so if it doesn't have photos on there it'll come up and um, just here that you won't be able to press that next button there it'll only be able to uh, press cancel Okay, but if you have got photos, you can press the next button, and here it is, it'll show you the photos on your camera. Um, here you can just choose which one you want, and then if you've got a tick next to it, that's the ones you'll get. Then you go down the bottom and you press next, and it'll show where it's going. You can also change where it's going by pressing browse and choosing a folder. Now here you can press the button here, it says delete pictures from my device after copying them. So if you simply press that, then your photos will be deleted as soon as it's been taken to the computer. Okay. Right. And there we go, it's taken the photos. It's quite quick depends on how many photos you've got okay in the end it just gives you a few choices I just say nothing I'm finished working with these pictures and press next and then press finish and it'll come up with the folder that you've put them in okay now back to your camera here the options that you've got um, you can also delete all the pictures on the camera from here as well and you can also show the camera properties so if we press on that this is where we have a few choices here um, down the bottom here you can te press test your camera that basically tells you whether it's connected and what's wrong with it if it's not um, okay this is the events tab now when you plug your camera in you can choose what you want to do what action you want to perform so when the camera is connected I can start with this program if I want to I can choose which program I usually choose 
the Microsoft Scanner and Wizard. I can also choose to save all pictures to this folder which I can change as well by pressing browse and also I can automatically delete the pictures from the camera after saving them. Um, it doesn't matter what program I use, this is what it will do. Create a subfolder um, using today's date, you can do that as well. Okay, you can do all sorts of things. And just go down the bottom here, if, you, if you're happy with that setting, just go down the bottom and press apply. Okay, and then press OK. And then we'll be back at your camera here. Okay, and that's about it. Okay, thanks for Lynn.